as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, especially in the New Testament, when a person is born again, right, you have a spirit that's born inside. That's why you're called born again, because the spirit that died the moment that you sin, the moment that you are accountable for your sins, because you have understanding, you know right from wrong, and you choose to sin, just as Adam and Eve, the day that they ate thereof of the fruit that God said not to eat thereof, he says, in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. They died, even though they didn't die physically, they died spiritually, and that happened with their first transgression. With their first sin, they died spiritually. Well, the same thing happens to everybody with their first sin in this world that God holds them responsible for when, when you know, and I'm not going to get into the, that topic of knowing exactly when that is for each individual. It's outside the scope of sermon, but whenever that happens, your spirit dies, right? Because when you're created, you have a spirit that's alive. So children in the womb, for example, have a spirit that is not dead. And when they die, if a baby dies in the womb, they still go to heaven. They didn't need to receive that salvation for their sins because they didn't sin yet. They haven't done anything wrong, right? And we believe that, that children that die go straight to be with the Lord. They don't spend, you know, God doesn't pick and choose some of them to go to hell and some of them go to heaven for some arbitrary reason or whatever. That is not the God of the Bible. But when we get saved, that spirit revives. So that dead spirit that died because of sin is revived. It's brought back to life again. That's that second birth. That's that spiritual birth. But in addition to that, as believers in Jesus Christ in the New Testament, God has given us the Holy Ghost also that indwells us as believers. And this is something that was different compared to the Old Testament, where, yes, people in the Old Testament were born again, just like Adam was, just like everyone else throughout history has been born again by putting their faith in the Lord or in Jesus Christ for us, right? Um, that is no different. Just and, and when Jesus was explaining this to Nicodemus in John chapter 3, he says, Art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not thou these things? So he's basically, you know, saying Nicodemus, it was, you know, being born again wasn't a new concept. He's like, how can you not know these things? You're a master of Israel. How, how can you say that you study the word of God, that you're this Pharisee, and you don't even know what it means to be born again? How can you not know this? It wasn't some brand new doctrine that he conjured up that's just like, oh, now people are born again with the Spirit. No, it's always been that way. People have always been saved the same way. It's always been by grace through faith. And you get born again the moment you believe. But what we also have now is the, t the Holy Ghost, when Jesus breathed on his disciples after his resurrection and they received the Holy Ghost, they received that indwelling of the Holy Ghost, which now every believer has, okay? And the, you know, I'm, I'm kind of taking a little bit of time to break this down just to make sure everyone's really clear on what happens here is because it's not just our soul or our spirit residing within our bodies, we have to recognize that as a believer, the Holy Ghost comes and resides within us as well. And our bodies now, because the Holy Ghost comes and resides with us, our bodies are that temple, that place, that home for the Holy Ghost to be inhabiting while we're here on this earth. And it's just one more reason, one more thing to think about when we consider, you know, making decisions in our life that are going to impact our bodies. And we need to, to be cognizant of the fact that the Holy Ghost, as a believer, is residing within you. And God puts a very, you know, stern warning to us in the Bible. Look down again. We'll reread these verses, verses 16 and 17, 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Know ye not that ye, so you, you people, are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. God's Spirit dwells in you if you're saved. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. So God's saying, don't mess with your body, with the temple of the Holy Ghost, because God will destroy you for that. Now, he's not talking about just sending you to hell, but there are plenty of believers that have lost their lives and for various reasons, but he's, t he's warning here saying, don't mess with your body because, you know, God will destroy you.